Hey guys, it's Skybars here with another video. So I wanted to sh show you uh, the best HDR settings ever. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> it is the, the best because it looks uh, truly amazing. It is hard to see through the camera, but I assure you, this is uh, breathtaking. So. I show you uh, what settings I used and I hope that if you dial in these same settings then you will have a similar breathtaking HDR experience uh, with uh, Horizon uh, Forbidden West on PC. This is PC. So I show you in the settings um, so these are my HDR settings. So this is the S95B uh, Samsung OLED TV specific settings. Uh, I am on the latest uh, firmware, which is uh, you know 2024 uh, March. This is March at the moment. Um, I mean April, but it must be uh, a March uh, firmware. If I remember correctly, there was a update in March. Anyway, so you should use these. I find them to be the best. And also, the more important uh, part of the settings is, you know, the, the TV HDR settings. So if you go into the picture settings. Um, I calibrated this TV and I show you my calibration. This will uh, be a bit different for everyone because every panel is a little bit different but it should uh, still be relevant for you. So, um, uh, where is it? Here. So make sure, you know, uh, by itself the DCI-P3 will be the auto color uh, you should change it to BT 2020 by selecting custom color space and then just copy these settings here So if you copy these, and you should have a very similar uh, image quality as I have. But this is a professional level basically, so if it doesn't work for you, you can just reset, you know, click on reset, and then you will get back to your uh, previous settings. So you can't ruin <laughs> your display. Um, okay. And then I, I went uh, minus one on this one, and uh, I found that warm one is actually better looking than warm two. Maybe if I had the correct, uh, you know, uh, with, with a uh, device, you know, you can uh, pinpoint the correct uh, color space settings, but I just copied it from Reddit. So maybe that's why warm one is more accurate for me than warm two. Warm two is a bit too yellow. Anyway, so uh, but you can try warm two if you want. It should be the the correct. But warm one is also very good. Uh, make sure to not use contrast enhancer ever. And I uh, choose color 22 because it is a bit over saturated. Um, with these settings, it is, uh, how can I say, like, it is known to be oversaturated, so it is correct to decrease color, actually. <laughs> Interesting, but this is the correct, correct way to set up the uh, best HDR representation. And you can find very similar settings on Reddit uh, like this, so uh, these, these are, uh, you can say, trusted. 
so things but what is not trusted and what is my uh, how can I say favorite setting which is uh, for many of you especially the people that like the how can I say uh, don't try to <laughs> don't like to try uh, dangerous things black level so the purists I wanted to say purists so for the purists uh, I believe it should be on normal this also looks very good actually but I love it on low because I find it that it is a trade-off it should uh, crash a little black and uh, bright highlight details keep in mind but the crash is so minimal for my eyes that I, I find it better to have just a little bit more punch than than you know than a little more detail that I won't even see and realistically if you look into the sun you shouldn't see the small details around the sun you know so oops for me it is more correct um, but you can play around with it maybe it, it will be too much for you uh, for me it looks better it looks pun punchier and more realistic for the sun to be like very bright not just a little bright yes you can see here a little bit of detail loss see it is a bit you know uh, over brightens the bright stuff but for me <laughs> it is realistic that you shouldn't see uh, details in the sun and around the sun it should be blinding bright so yeah sorry anyway just play around with these settings and you will find the best one for yourself for me this works the best but even if you leave it on normal these settings should give you a very very good uh, kind of natural look for not just Horizon Forbidden West, but for uh, other games too, like uh, Cyberpunk. I tried out and it looked very good as well. So thank you very much for watching and please leave a comment if uh, you found my settings helpful or you found something about it. Uh, please tell me and leave a like if you liked my video and subscribe for more uh, videos like this where I go in more depth with HDR and HDR settings to find uh, the best uh, settings possible for this TV. Thank you very much and have a beautiful day.